if I'm ever an alcoholic, I'll have a drinking problem. Repeat. That's the definition of it. Raheem. Father, which art in heaven, please Raheem. forgive the Lord for my... Nope. 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 I'm calling no. God on this one. Revolution will be live. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we have we have reached something. This is the 100th video of yeah. this channel. I think uh, get a nice little one-two clap, one-two clap. But um, but uh, wow, um, it's crazy because like all these people in this video have contributed to this to this channel. Um, so everybody has made it to the 100th video, and very appreciative of all you guys. Um, if you're seeing a new face. Uh, oh I need you to understand something. This this is not a new face. This this face here, this this is a behind the scenes kind of person. This this is no regular ordinary person. This is a legend. This is the core, the glue that holds this channel together. The the reason why the videos the, are the way they are is because of this man right here. This this man is our, our very own film editor, video editor, Jared. He is, he's here. How's it going, bro? You're making me blush. That's the <laughs> nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Although, you, you don't blush. Oh, well, we can't see it. I'm probably darker. Gonna get some hate for this real quick. I got his head. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, uh, I edit, you know, the videos every week. So I've seen every single what if since its conception. And like everyone else, you know, I've seen Raheem lose week after week. After week, after week, <laughs> after week, after week, after week, <laughs> and so you know, at first you know it was funny. It was funny, you know. I like a good beating, but then it just started to get sad. And <laughs> and recently, I was watch. Uh, I was editing. Uh, it was a video that that hasn't gone up yet because we had some some issues, but uh, in that video, uh, I think it was Saitama against Goku, right? Was that one One Punch Man versus Goku? Yeah, 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 yeah. Correct. And Dom, you chose One Punch, right? Correct. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you actually lost that one. Goku oh. is wiping the floor with Saitama. Okay. It, okay. Even then, it still doesn't matter. Raheem, then you can have two. You have two. Then what's the record then at that point? Twenty-seven to two, Raheem. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not. I'm not saying, Don. Don. Don't get me wrong. Like when it comes to the what ifs, you are the king. Okay, you are the king. Your comic book knowledge is like superb. But when it comes to anime, you see, that's that's my domain. That's my realm. Mm. And so I just gotta say, Saitama's getting dusted by Goku. And and that's not even there was another instance. Hey. It was uh it was Boo versus Gohan? Oh you chose Boo? I chose Boo. Why did you choose Boo? You chose Gohan? Boo absorbs Gohan. Exactly. That's that's literally Boo what wins. I said. <laughs> Who wins? No, hey, I'm just trying to soften the blow. So Raheem technically should have three wins, but again, dummy up. 15, so I mean, it doesn't really do anything. I'm just trying to build up Raheem's confidence, you know? <laughs> like, Raheem, you could win so more if you would do your research and stop conceding <laughs> so early. Put up a fight. It's it's hard to edit. I have to watch this over and over again. Do it for me, at least. <laughs> that That's the one thing I tried to do when it came to what is, because I know that my comic book knowledge is, like, so much more than Raheem, so I tried to step into anime, but then, like, we finished the video, and I was like, I really just got him to concede not knowing anything I was talking about. <laughs> I, for those of you who do not know, I do not know anime. I don't know if you could tell by that. Ooh, but that's, that's why you got the anime. That's why you got the anime. I watched Van Helsing. Jesus Christ, who, what were they thinking when they made this anime? <laughs> Harrison. I ain't seen it. 
<laughs> you haven't seen it, but you chose them? No. Wait, 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 wait. All right, all right. You said all right. Do you do you watch Helsing or Helsing Ultimate? Helsing Ultimate. Okay, okay. That okay. That one I hadn't full. That one I hadn't fully seen. I only saw. I've just finished regular Helsing. Oh my god. I haven't. Okay. I haven't Someone finished Helsing. Has seen it. I can speak on this. Uh, that is by far top five. Top five. My, my personal favorite. Dom, I I do agree. That is a weird one. It's it's an experience. <laughs> And since you're speaking on, that's all I needed. <laughs> I got bored and I started watching this thing called Megalobox. I don't know if many people have seen uh, it. Seen it? It was it was good. You know, it was really good. Um, spoiler alert! What was that last episode? Because um, didn't even show the ending of the fight. Just cut the dude just dancing in the desert. I don't want to see a text box of who won the fight. I I want to see who won the fight. I don't want to see. So and so got knocked out. No, show me the punch, <laughs> not him dancing in the desert in victory. That was, oh my god. Before we, before we get into in depth, I see we're all so deep until we we forgot to do the plugs. We we forgot to do the intro. But I'm very happy for this conversation because uh, this is gonna be a great video. Um, but uh, speaking of speaking of plugs, um, you want to go ahead and. Give the plugs out. Go ahead and do that. Where is my random? Ah, oh, there it is. <sighs> Excuse me. You know I pulled you over today? It's not because you're black. Not at all. It's not because you're white. It's because you haven't subscribed and you haven't put anything in the comment section yet. All right? So that's what I need you to do. I need you to comment in the comment section not only what you want to see in the weather series, but also what you want to see me and Raheem and everybody else on the channel talk about because coronavirus gets boring. All right, let's be honest. Yeah. And then once you do that, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So you already know what I want you to do. Comment and cop. Comment and cop. Comment and cop. A comment and cop the merch. You feel what I'm saying? So go ahead, comment and cop. You know what I'm saying? Let's get straight to it. You heard the man. Listen to him. Okay. Our our first topic is uh I think uh our, our general topic. We want to do something special since this is the hundredth video. So what we decided to do was everybody brings a character from the same universe. Unlike what we usually do for different characters from four different universes and different timelines, but we decided let's let's all just stay in the same universe. So we picked the universe of the Toon Squad. Those of you who do not know, that's basically Looney Tunes. Right. We're doing this because uh you saw the Space Jam trailer. Let's, uh, let's just save that for later in the episode. But we wanted to do something related to that, definitely. So um, I think uh, I th I'm going to let our editor go first regarding their choice, their pick. Uh, well, you know, trying to make a, f a good first impression, you know, maybe dethrone Dom. Go one and zero, and then never return. <laughs> <laughs> never get Look that run that. back. <laughs> so, for my two characters, I chose Marvin the Martian and Yosemite Sam. Dang, Raheem. Try again. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You're telling me that I usually go first, and now the one time I give. It, 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 my expression is, uh, I, I, my character is, I now I have to pick someone else. Okay. Um, so you keep that. Cool. Who, who wants to go next so I can <laughs> find another character? All right. All right. I'll go next. I'll go next. All right. I pick, I pick the main, I pick the main character in Looney Tunes. I pick Bugs Bunny. Who's your second character, big dog? Uh, I didn't bring a se uh, second character. I didn't bring one. I didn't bring one this time. Ah, <laughs> uh, he think okay, okay. I guess I'll go. I'll go ahead and step into the arena. I'm bringing the mask, and I wasn't prepared either for a, a secondary character. But you know, it's okay. It's okay for one reason. 
I want Jerry from Tom and Jerry. Okay. Oh, you know what? Okay. Okay. <laughs> However, that is so unfair. I understand why. <laughs> I understand why. Um, so, okay. So, I think you just helped me pick my second character. Um, Are you going to choose Tom? Don't you? Don't do it. Don't do it? Don't do it. You don't right, choose Tom? I got a, I got a better Tom. one. I, got a better one. I won't pick Tom. I got a better one. Uh, my first character, though, I picked... I originally picked uh, Marvin the Martian, which is a great choice. Um, so now I'm definitely terrified because I was really banking on that character. But that's a great choice. My first character from the Legion Squad is the Tas- Tasmanian Devil. Right? That's Tasmanian Devil. And then my second character is the woman that they never showed their face on, on Tom and Jerry. Everyone knows what woman I'm talking about. Everybody knows. I pick uh, her. Uh, Raheem, tell me her name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick another character. <laughs> I, just always call another mom. character. <laughs> I just always call her the mom. <laughs> I'm going to pick her another character. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. But I got the Tasmanian Devil, so that, that's at least something. I'm working with something. But let me yeah. let me pick somebody who, at least, you know what? I'm gonna go on a limb here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick a, I'm gonna pick a, I'm gonna pick a heroine. Heroine. That's what they're called. They're called heroines. Female yeah. superheroes are called heroines. I don't know who picked it. That's just the name. They're called heroines. But I'm gonna pick Lola. I'm gonna pick Lola. I don't know why I picked Lola, but. <laughs> Raheem, I caught you in 4K. I knew you were about to say Lola. I want to know which Lola you talking about, Raheem. You, talk- you talking <laughs> about Michael Jack? You talking about Michael Jordan Lola or LeBron Lola? I need to know. Of course, Michael Jordan. Mate. Nothing competes with her. <laughs> Why are you choosing Michael Jordan Lola? <laughs> Why not? I'm kicking. I'm kicking down the door. He, why you choose Michael Jordan? Hey, hey, I, hey, I know where this is going. <laughs> listen, you looking at them legs, ain't you? That's what hey, you listen. Listen. <laughs> I might have been Damn. the only person that see who sees Space Jam as a kid and never had a crush on Lola Bunny. What? Man, you wrong. didn't have a crush on Lola, but no. Are you a human? She an animal. She a literal rabbit. <laughs> I ain't about that. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> no, furries can come at me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. The furries can come cancel culture right there. <laughs> furries can cancel me. I do not care. <laughs> Dang, Harrison, we got to get canceled already. We just got to the hundreds. One, about to get canceled. Okay. Not so, the, uh, the furries well, cancel me specifically. No, they're going to cancel all of us. They see four black people and be like, all of them canceled. We don't care. They're all canceled. <laughs> but uh, let's get to these. These are really good characters. These are really good characters, right? They're always good characters. Um, I usually start off with, you know, naming my characters' powers and abilities. But um, seeing how I know exactly where this is going, um, considering one person has the mask and Marvin the Martian, and bugs. Okay. I'm gonna let one of the most. One, I'm not gonna. No, nah, I'm not gonna concede this one. Even though I have weird characters, I'm not gonna concede. So I guess I'll go. Um, I'll start with Tasmanian Devil. Um, so you know he does this thing, right, where he just literally turns into a whole tornado, right? Everything, everything he runs into, destruction, right? There's literally nothing. That will stop him from just terrorizing everything in his path, right? Once he gets in that little little motion of his, like there's there's really no stopping him, right? So, and although your characters can literally just <laughs> erase the universe and he can still stop twisting, you know, that's the only argument I really have. Uh Tasmanian Devil cannot really control universes, so that's that's there. But I I can say for sure that he's as far as terrorizing things, I, I think. He's definitely up there. That's, so I'll, I'll say that. And then Lola. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I'm trying to really think. I mean, she can hoop. 
I don't know if that if that she can hoop. Know. My man said she can hoop. That's, That's a, a death too. battle, and you said <laughs> she can hoop. <laughs> you know what? She can snatch hey, your ankles, bro. She can snatch your ankles. I'm gonna need you to put Raheem saying I'm not gonna conceive right before he can see. <laughs> <laughs> you literally just brought Lola in for the sex appeal. Bro, <laughs> I, yes, exactly. And here's, here's, here's what I'm gonna do. Lola is so fine that she hallucinates all of your characters, all of them, and makes them fall in love with her. She has the power of empathy, the power of sympathy, just the power of attraction and affection to where you're so mesmerized at her beauty, inner and outside, that you just you you just conceive, right? Your characters conceive. So, so that, why didn't that's my power. Your powers only work on Bugs Bunny. <laughs> I appreciate you for eliminating my own <laughs> my strongest competition. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least one 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 got in. One got in. <laughs> so Harrison, I'm I'm, de- I'm probably beating your character just just by affection. Not really beating, more like subduing. It's not. That's pretty much all. That's pretty much all that's happening here. Uh, that's so tough, yo. He really brought Lil Wayne for sex appeal. Wait, wait, wait. I hoop. got it. Since 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 I did have, and by the way, we don't talk about our characters. We only before these. All we do is name them. Right, we we don't talk about we just name our characters to our viewers. So I did. Can I just join just for this episode? Can I join Jared's side because I did have Marvin the Martian, and <laughs> we have like it would only be. I'm not saying I would. I would be like a, a like a like an assistant manager or something. Like I won't be like on his team, but like that's that was like. My man get, said he will be in. A, he is going to be a cheerleader for you, Jared. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> He's not even a cheerleader. He is the water boy for your team. <laughs> I'm the assistant manager of the water boy for his team. The thing is, Raheem has done this before. So, like, he always he rides my coattails. So, back when when we were in college, freshman year, um, I had convinced our history teacher to bring us like carrot cake or something. Oh man! <laughs> and I had said. A funny joke or something, and Raheem copied it and, and said it a little bit louder, and everyone laughed. And Raheem thought that he was, you know, Mr. Big Sean. Like I looked at this, like all you did was ride my coattails. Like you wouldn't have any of this if it weren't for me. So that's kind of what this is. So like I, I'm 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 used to it. I expect it from Raheem. You know. Dang, okay, Raheem. <laughs> you gonna take the di- you, you just gonna take that slander? Yes. Yeah, so but, 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 hey, I'm happy. No, 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 no. It's not. It's not a. Sl- it's not a slander because, like, he was. He was right. Like, I was. I was definitely wrong for that. Um, <laughs> that, that day. Um, so that that was true. That everything he said was true. Uh, but the the Mar- but the Marvin the Martian went. Like, I was really. I need you know, Jerry. You know, I need this. Dog. I mean, you know in that, ca- in that case. In that case, Harrison, you want to join the mask bit all? <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'll join. I'll join. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, it looks like we got a got a loop two on two. So um what I'll do is I'll lay back on on uh trying to because obviously me delaying the me relaying the powers and abilities of the characters does not help Mario. In fact, I've noticed every time I list out my characters and powers, it actually makes it worse for my character. Like when I list it out uh, Lola, her like it didn't help. All I had was she hoops. That's all I had, and I was just like, that made it worse. That I le- I could have just left it alone. I could have just left it. There. But uh, I'm really interested on the uh, y'all's characters. So what, what is just list out your abilities? I'm gonna let Jared go first, man. He he, the guest. Let Jared go first. Yes, sir. All right. Well then. I'll start with you, Simony, because I guess he is would be considered like the weakest of my two characters. I even want to say that. So I mean, Tom, who are your characters again? You have the I mask, have the and... mask, and Jerry for Tom and Jerry. All right. Well, then I'll put. Here's what I'll do. I'll put Yosemite up against the mask. I'll sacrifice him because there's no way that. You have to... <laughs> hey, okay. Fine. Fine. My man straight brother sacrifice, man. Exactly. Right. Yeah, right. So, I mean, Yosemite, like, I mean, he has guns. 
an unlimited supply of ammo and you know when he gets mad enough he can self-destruct and take like you know half a city with him like you've seen it in the cartoons so that is what i'm banking on that he just gets mad enough to where he they call it blowing his stack i just hope he blows his stack and he he takes the mask with you maybe half the world who knows depends on how angry you make him (laughs) (sighs) see I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and list out the mask, man. Oh man, oh, I have the mask. The fun part about this is, Harrison, you've seen the the death battle. Yeah, I can literally say no to pain. Yeah, and damage done to my body. Yeah. <laughs> With the mask on, you cannot kill me. <laughs> Quite literally. Whatever you throw it down. And he's just gonna laugh it off. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Are you talking about it's Jim Carrey though, right? Jim Carrey, the mask. No, I'm not. I wasn't necessarily talking about Jim Carrey's mask. Mm-hmm. You can do Jim Carrey's mask. The only difference between the two is Jim Carrey's mask is more of like a Deadpool s character. I was going straight from the comics uh, material. I got you. <clears throat> where he's more sadistic. So like. Yeah. Deadpool, if he truly wanted to kill the MCU. No, fair enough. I just want to say, I thought that we were sticking to strictly, like, Toon Squad from Space Jam characters, because that's the way Raheem explained it to me. <laughs> I, I can go with the mask. No, 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 no. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Don't the Jim Carrey mask? Jerry, Jerry's not winning, so it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Jerry's not beating Marvin, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and go, Harrison. Jared, I'm going ju- I'm to just say this. Both of your characters are on record losing to Bugs Bunny. Ooh. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Duck season. Wabbit season. Duck season. Wabbit season. Hold duck up. season. Fire. If I may interject, interlude for a second. Harrison, you made a very bold sp- statement just then. You said Bugs Bunny is defeating not one of his characters, but both of them. He has beaten both of them. He, Yosem- Yosemite Sam has never beaten him. And the couple cartoons I've seen with Marvin the Martian and him, Marvin the Martian couldn't do anything to Bugs. Right? He didn't beat him. So, okay. Okay. So, kindly list out Bugs Bunny's powers. Right? All right. All right. Toon to do, <laughs> do that, I'm going to have to explain to I'm going to have to explain Toon Force. Okay. All right. Toon, Fo- Toon Force, pretty much the main th- the main thing throughout any cartoon, you are pr- you can pretty much, you can do anything as long as you find it funny. The writer can literally the writer will let you do anything. Bugs Bunny has casually cut Florida off the continent. <laughs> okay, um, Mr. Uh, Jared, you want to tackle that? Uh, I mean, I'll say it's a cartoon. That's my uh, that's my out. It's it's a cartoon. So, uh, Yosemite Sam and Marvin the Martian. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. If Bugs Bunny can cut off a continent, Marvin the Martian is an intergalactic alien with a stick of dynamite that can destroy the planet. So you want to talk about continents? I'll just rewrite history, and it, before you even do it, you can't snap me out of existence. I'm not fighting I'm not the mask. I'm, fighting, I'm, I'm, fighting the mask. <laughs> I'm not fighting the mask. You can rewrite history. I'm blowing you up. I'm blowing you up. My superpower with Jerry is plot armor. Okay, yeah. that's all I need. <laughs> Watching well, Tom and Jerry. Lost, Jerry has lost to Tom. <clears throat> Still plot yeah. armor. Still my superpower is plot this. armor. Armor was broken. His plot armor was broken. Nah, never that. Always there. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. Plot man. armor. Same like, thing as Squirrel pretty- Girl. Plot armor. <laughs> oh, please don't ever. Listen, there needs to be a limit on bringing a Squirrel yeah. Girl. 
episodes. Why did you not make Squirrel Girl? Why did you take Squirrel Girl? Gods. Because Squirrel Girl is literally... She defeated Galactus based off pure luck. That doesn't make any... She beat him on accident. And that doesn't make any sense. Doesn't matter. She was. You should have chose her, but it's it's whatever. That's that's a story for another time. So, yeah, back to the topic. Um, Marvin is destroying Jerry. There's no way around it. I don't get. I don't care about your plot armor. Okay, it's blowing up along with the rest of the world. Uh, uh, like you said, it's it's a cartoon. The good guy always wins at the end of the cartoon. Wait, Jerry, wait, wait, wait. this 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 ain't. Wait, 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 wait. No, okay. cartoon I, logic. Wait, wait. This, Wait, is, no, this ain't a true. cartoon. This is a that's what if. True. So this is this is what if the cartoon was it? It's still cartoon logic, though. That is no, their no, main no. power. No, 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 no. It's cartoon logic for the character's abilities. All right, but it doesn't mean it's cartoon logic for if they actually because like if they actually go up against each other using their like full powers. I should have pulled up with Speedy Gonzalez, man. Nah, nah. All he gonna do is just run away. <laughs> <laughs> you can say the same about Road Runner. Well, me, me, yeah. me. A little bit wily coyote. Hold on, Road Runner got luck though. He's got massive luck because none of those traps worked on him. Yeah, my dude Road Runner really has like massive amounts of plot armor, bro. I think That's he might squirrel. be Squirrel Girl. Yeah. <laughs> you got some squirrel girl shit. <laughs> the one, the one dude I never liked. Uh, what's his name? Uh, not Sylvester, but the the other son. Um, Tweety. Peppy Le Pew. Yeah, Peppy. Le- I never liked Peppy. Le- he was too, just too much. Like he would like kiss all over his like. I was like, bro, that's borderline a that man. Oh, sex <laughs> that's yourself. what made <laughs> that. That's what made that what it was, was that he would do that and then she'd smack him and it would make it funny when she smacked him and he'd be like, I'm going to die now. And then she'd come back. Like that's what that was his charm. That's what made him what he was. Yeah. And then people now were like, Oh my god, sexual abuse. Take it out of the movie. I don't want my kids saying that. Hey, what if, what if they made a movie just just based off that? Like just based off him. Happy if you. It's not getting made. It's not getting greenlit. No, I don't even think that movie is getting passed written on paper, bro. Like, <laughs> they're going to write Pepe Le Pew, and then immediately Conviction is going to be like, yeah, trash this. <laughs> Sorry, no. Uh, okay, so who, well, who's back. alive still? Whose characters are still alive? The Mask. The Mask. And, and Marvin. <laughs> and Bugs Bunny. Yeah. How is Bugs still alive? How is Bugs oh wait, yeah, Bugs. Can you survive outside of Earth? No, you cannot. <laughs> mm, if the ri- if the writer allows, if oh my god, well, and <laughs> if the writer this, allows, okay. this is why. Oh, no. All right, there's there's no limitation. So like, you can literally say Bugs Bunny can turn into a transformer. Right? You can say that if the writer writes it, that it it's happened. It's done. Right, what's done is done. You see, the That's one too- thing about the mask that makes him superior to all of these characters is that when activating my powers, I can activate them against everyone, like the whole vicinity. Everyone here has seen the mask, like the movie, right? Yes. yes. Man, so you guys God. remember when the cops were coming uh, after him and then all of them just started having that little dance party? Yeah. That is essentially what I can do. So what is Martian Manhunter going to do? Like, if I decide to, like, yeah, we're just going to have a dance party at this point. <laughs> you going to reverse it? But Marvin and then what? can also, um, he has the ability to, he's what's called sympathy. I, th- I think it's similar to what the mass power is, sympathy manipulation. So, like, yeah, Lily can make you cry if he, if he wanted to, right? And then, of course, there's what Harrison explained earlier, Toon Force, right, which is essentially uh, reality or time warping. Um, so, unless in, in my just as in my head, unless the mask can time warp reality, um, yes, he can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can literally match your powers because it's funny. You want to pull out a stick of dynamite to blow up the world? I'm pulling out a stick of diamond <laughs> dynamite to blow up the universe. And then what? Oh, uh, <laughs> what? I had to, I had to <laughs> I'm gonna casually eat that. I had to look this up to make sure that I wasn't stupid. But um, apparently, you might have you might have checked for yourself. <laughs> Marvin the Martian is immortal. Immortality. You might have to. You might have to check. You might have to fact check me. But so, no. I, technically I see speaking, it. I see it. technically speaking, with the mask on, he all the mask is also immortal. You technically can't kill a tune. Yeah. Okay, oh, wait, so wait. Okay. <laughs> so that's the question. That's true. Do do? That's true. But also, that also begs the question: immortality beating immortality. Somebody got to lose. You feel me? So it's like. Who's who's the more who's I guess who's more right. immortal? I don't know if that's a thing. But well, I think it's well, one of those like okay. an unstoppable force versus immovable object type okay. things. Yeah, because when Stanley Ipkiss has the mask on, he's no longer in control. Right, the mask is now in control, and essentially, the mask is it was created by Loki just just because, <clears throat> right. So he, since he's no longer in control, technically speaking, the mask is in control. So Loki's in control. So yeah, it's the irresistible force meets the immovable object because <laughs> the I only just, way, out of my the only way to, the only way to make the only way for the mask to lose this is if he is to take off the mask. Which right. if he's fighting someone. Highly not doubtable. Do he's yeah. he's not gonna do it. None of us are pulling that mask off, and he's not gonna pull that mask off. <laughs> like you can, you want to shoot me? Go for it. I'm shooting the bullets back through my mouth. You want to blow you? You want to blow me up? I'm taking the I'm taking the TNT and I'm swallowing it and I'm burping chili flames. All right, like that's yeah. that's basically all I'm gonna do, bro. I have a question. I don't know if this is true or not, but Dom, for your character, can he blow up? Um, stars like a a whole star if you wanted to. I tune for us. Yes. yes, he can. <laughs> <laughs> if I find it funny, I'm doing it. Wait, 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 wait! He can you're eat a star, me. and he can survive the explosion of a star. You're telling me, yes. You're telling me that if he finds anything funny. Then he uses that power. Um, that he used that power as an advantage to for him. Basically, so what he does is it's not like if he finds it funny. That's just like tune force. But I can essentially say no to pain and damage. So I don't necessarily have to blow it up. I can I can do whatever I want. I can turn a balloon animal into a Tommy gun. Yeah. <laughs> And then you can turn a Tommy gun into a balloon. Animal. Yes. That. Wait, wait. So you don't actually. So you're telling me you don't actually have to do anything. You just. <laughs> you literally. You're like the number one defense in the universe. Yeah, basically. Like I can turn my arms into an arsenal of weapons. <laughs> just because. <laughs> Just because. But the thing is with Marvin the Manhunter, uh, the Martian, uh, is it's the same thing like if I go, if you do like the comic books, the angrier, uh, no, not Marvin the Martian, um, Yosemite, Yosemite. Yosemite. Yeah, the angrier the mask gets, the more he's going to just attempt to kill you. So he has an anger issue. Like he has sur- was it blowing himself up? I think he blew himself up and then came back. Like, all he has to do is reattach whatever it is. Like, you can cut his head off with the mask on it, and if he can find his head, he's reattaching it. So, basically a Deadpool, like you said earlier. Basically a Deadpool. Yeah. Yeah. He's Deadpool if... um. Deadpool could literally do what he wanted to do. He's Deadpool on a reality scale. When it comes to characters with no limitations, there, there's always going to be more theories. 
So either do we want to dive deep into those theories or do we want to uh, do our, our last topic? Oh, let, let's go ahead and go to uh, go to um, Space Jam. <sighs> okay. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, anything. Um, at, th at this point, these, these things, these semantics do not bother me. Um, the first time he did it, I, I didn't say anything. I was just like, oh, he's got a glove. Got it. Got a bowling pin. Don't know why he has one bowling pin. I don't know how rich Dom is. To where he has just a bowling alley in his house and he's got on grandpa slippers wow he's he's got on the chuck chuck charlie's one wow he's got the chuck charlie's okay so the today is saturday <laughs> unpopular opinions those are the worst chips one of the worst chips on history on, on history of earth by the way so this it's man fair. bought an african drone Wow. <laughs> I just thought that was a flower pot. It is a flower pot. I thought so. Icy brown, icy round, it's African drum to me. <laughs> but um today today is Saturday. The Space Jam the new legacy trailer dropped earlier today. Um starring the one and only. That's a, another topic for another day. Greatest of all time in basketball. Who? Uh, Hey, the another what? To hey, I, another topic for another day. <laughs> the what? When you talk about I'm gonna get us canceled. I'm, okay. All I say is this man is good at basketball. Can I say that? He is good at basketball. He's very talented at basketball. He's very talented at basketball. All right. LeBron James, right? Otherwise known as King James, all this stuff, right? Um, <clears throat> won four rings from four different teams. <clears throat> uh, but anyway, um, traitor. <laughs> no, um, <clears throat> goated. Um, but yeah, the, the new Space Jam two trailer dropped today, and I want to talk about something. I was, I had no expectations to be quite honest with you. I really was just like, oh, I see LeBron James. I'm like, I'm gonna look at it because LeBron James. You don't really see athletes in movies, so I'm gonna. Check this out. So I we checked out the trailer and I was like, oh, okay, it's typical, you know, cartoon world, all that stuff. And then I saw Iron Giant. And then I said, hmm. Let me let me continue watching this. Then I saw saw this what's called the server verse. I was like, okay, it's similar to Spider-Verse, but I see we're we're doing these the verses of the verse universes are starting to become a trend. Okay. And basically finished watching it and i said to myself this movie if this honestly this either can go two ways this is either going to be the worst movie in rotten tomatoes history or one of the best All right so what do you what do you guys thought after, Where? I, after is bill murray that's <laughs> what i want to know yeah. where is bill murray and also who told you to remake Space Jam. Who said, you know what I want? Space Jam 2. You know who I want in it? LeBron, Clay Thompson, Damian Lillard, and Anthony Davis. Who said this? Who asked for that? Who, like, I can already tell you, this is exactly what Damian Lillard is going to sound like. Hey man, like, let's go ahead and get playing, man. Let's go ahead and do some hooping. Let's ball. <laughs> No one asked for this, and I guarantee, like you said, it's either going to be one of the best movies of the year, or it's going to be the worst movie. Period. It's probably going to be the worst movie. Period. Because um, I don't, I don't think LeBron can act. In the trailer, my man said, "What in the Matrix hell? What does that mean?" Let's. Uh, I, I was hoping we didn't touch that, but since we did. I need every, I, I, for those, I, I just need you to just, sometimes there are just roast appropriate moments that you just have to take your hand, make it as straight as possible, turn it sideways, and just direct all your roast energy to this man and say, yo, just stop. 
Just just stop. Go sit down. Take a sip of Gatorade. Go redo that Sprite commercial you did with Lil Yachty three years ago. Go redo that. No, Maybe critique don't redo your that either. Skills. Don't redo that either. As a matter of fact, Ryan Reynolds is your way out of everything. I don't even want to see you talking about some one Sprite cranberry. No, nope, Ryan Reynolds, your way out of it too. It's the like, thirst, thirstiest time of the year. Okay. Um. <laughs> but um, since. <laughs> I, I think uh, I don't think any of us want to talk about it because it was. I think it was all said was said. It got either really good or really bad. But since I I addressed something earlier, and got a little got a little negative energy coming from the champs side. I got a little negative energy from the comment that I said. I said just general, possibly the greatest player of all time, and I received this this negative energy from. The presence chooser who always chooses gods and souls in his videos. <laughs> I I got negative energy. I got negative energy from him. So my question goes out to you, sir, specifically, but this goes out to everybody. You don't think LeBron James is the greatest of all time, if not the greatest of all time? Yes, I pulled a Stephen A. Smith on you. I still think it's I still think it's Jordan. Now here's why. Here's why. oh oh you want to do that? We you can have all the statistics that you want, period. But the one thing that he will never do that Jordan has done is please do don't say every rings. time. I promise you. If somebody says six more. I promise you. I don't even have to say six rings. Okay. It's more than just six rings. It's each time I went to the fight. Each time he went to the finals, he won. He is six for six. LeBron isn't six for six. What is he? Four for what? Is it four or five? I think it's four. Was it two with Miami, one with Cleveland, one with LA? He's four for what? It's like four for what? Like seven, eight? Okay. I don't, me personally, when it comes to players, I don't bring out their rings just because that's a team effort. But since we're going off rings, let's, let's, let's touch on that a little bit. Right. When he was at Miami, Ron, that is, he had help. He had D-Wade, he had Bosch, Ray Allen, he, a lot of great players, right? Won those champions two years, no problem. Yes, he had help. It wasn't him by himself. But let's let's not forget the beast mode setting that he was in when he was at Miami. He was possibly, yeah. that was his prime. And then I want to touch on something that's crucial. This is really the, the core. You want to talk about the Cleveland? You want to talk about Cleveland? This he man, had help in Cleveland. Kyrie Irving. Without Kyrie, he's not winning some of those games. He had Kevin Love when Kevin Love was still a threat at the three point point at the three point line. You he's not winning those those rings against the Warriors without them. This is gonna get deep. So I'm going to pause this because <laughs> Lord knows I wanna just just go in on stats, but um not the that's not necessarily our premise of our channel, but that's I promise you that is another video for another day. We might we might even put that in the end of the video, like a bonus track or something. No, nah, go no, nah, go ahead, Raheem. I'm sure I, we got plenty of time. This video is barely even thirty minutes. Go ahead, say what you got to say, Raheem. Uh, remember that I have to edit though, so you know, yeah, be nice. Exactly. That's true. Keep that's that true. <laughs> so, <laughs> but um, all we can we're gonna we're gonna pause on that discussion. But all I'm gonna say is. LeBron is great. Michael Jordan is great. They're both great players. I think we can both agree on the play. Yeah, they're, they're both great players. Yes. <laughs> Jordan is just better. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Um, but, um, so yeah, the Space Jam trailer released today. And wasn't, first time, wasn't too thrilled about it. I saw Iron Giant, I was like, oh, okay, I'm a little happy. But then I saw, you know, that, you know, that line with LeBron stated, acting like he was from Hollywood, which he is not. But I was like, oh, okay, that's what we're doing now? Okay. So, yeah. But basically, back to our original characters. Can we just... No, Martin really Martian is not just this 
throwaway. Like, I can't <laughs> just let it go, bro. Like, I understand. Listen, I understand the mask power. The mask is literally unkillable. I get that, right? Once you put that on, pretty much no killing, right? There's, 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 just, there's no killing. Them. But then this, this is where I lost one of my arguments, I know, because Arvin the Martian, you kill him, but he comes back. But the thing, wait, hold up. So, real quick. So, both of them, the mask and, and Marvin the Martian, they both can die. Is that correct? Like, if, if they, can they have, are they ability to die? Do they have that? You can't no, kill no. it. You can't kill the mask unless you're in uh, human form. And even if you kill the mask in human form, it comes back and, like, you can't destroy the mask. But the only way you can kill the you can kill the person who wears the mask, but then it's gonna just take over the next person who wears it, and he's going after whoever killed the last wearer. And he can even like even a, an animal can put the mask on. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can't kill it. But like you can't kill the mask. You can kill the person who's wearing the mask, but you have to somehow get them to take it off, which is impossible. Yeah, that that uh, that. Because well, essentially, what what you're trying to do then is you're trying to kill Loki, which in that universe, he is, he's not he's not like Thor, he is a god in those in that like in that period. So you can't kill him in that period. Yeah, that that summed up my yep. I got it. Once you said God, I. Understood. He's not. He's not that kind of guy. He's not like God. God. Oh. But he's the God of mischief. Like he. Like Thor is the God of thunder. Oh, he's okay. the God of mischief and God of chaos. So okay. like you're not going to just kill him. Right. Right. He's just going to rewrite your entire existence. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is oh. hilarious. So unfair. <laughs> but um, just just a re- just a recap. Um, a review. Uh, just a little story time, um, because I feel I feel as though I need to tell a story. Um, so our our editor Jared here, um, originally, um, it was just it was just me on the video on this channel, and it was, I was me editing the video, editing the video, and uh, I was uploading it. And then one day, uh, Jared comes up to me and says, "He's like Raheem, I." I let me edit your video. I was like, oh, no, bro, I got it, right? Because I don't, I don't want to be, like, so much pressure on him. And then he says, no. He's like, bro, listen to me. Listen. Let me edit your videos. And I was like, I can tell by his tone that it was very direct and assertive. So it felt like he wasn't even asking. It felt like he was telling me, bro, I'm going to edit your videos, whether you like it or not. Because I realized that what he was seeing was absolute garbage from my channel's videos. He was seeing filth being put on the internet and uploaded on the internet. And he said, no longer am I going to watch this garbage content. I'm going to make a change about it. So he basically said, (laughs) keep talking into the microphone. (laughs) He basically said that he was going to start editing the videos and make them superb, right? And he has. He will continue to do that. Um, so I, like, bro, like I, I thank you for that, like sis, sincerely, because I would not have, I wouldn't have asked you. I would have just kept going, just doing what I was doing. But you were like, no, and this, this boy needs help. Like he needs, he needs help. So I, I appreciate you for that, uh, all honesty. Uh, but um, I, you know, I gotta, you know, I gotta do this. You know, I have to do this. I, I have a pun. Raheem in the call. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing this today. <laughs> hey, when it comes to me, bro, I just say them. Okay, this one, not gonna lie, this one's pretty bad. Uh, I'm just gonna give you a heads up. This, I mean, they're all bad. You know that. That's just me, but. What did, well, no, what do you call a sea creature that is out of this world? Starfish. I'll let you, I'll leave you to ponder that. 
I got another one. Jerry, this is what you had to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> How did you deal with that? Oh <laughs> uh, well, I mean, if we're getting into it, I used to yeah, I used to live with him, so Ow. it was it was like this, but take it and multiply it by like cancer, you know. Harrison <laughs> <laughs> said, "How?" <laughs> so there would be times. Where especially at night, I would leave. I would leave our room and go sleep in the laundry room. That are, and they're constantly going. I'd rather sleep in a noisy laundry room than sleep <laughs> in the same room as this man. How do you feel, Ray? <laughs> <laughs> That's Yo, your own room. Oh, oh, I, I got sleep this is, in the laundry room. You got to tell the story. I got to tell the time. We were. Uh, <laughs> Jared. He told me this the next day, but he said, he said, "Bro, you snore loud as like loud." I was like, I don't snore, cause, but you don't know because you're asleep. So, of course, I'm going to say I don't snore. And so he said, bro, one of these days, I'm going to record you, and I'm going to show it to you. And I'm going to show you what you sound like when you sleep. So he did this. He actually did this. So it was a, a couple weeks later. He, he came up to me. We were in a room. We were in the dorm room. And he came up to me, and he's like, bro, just listen. And it was dark, and it was the video was like, it was like a minute long. And it was me snoring. It was like midnight, right? And bro, all you heard was, and then there was bro, and I heard it. I was just like, that sound like a, that sound like a bear. What the what the like what's going on? And then he said one time, bro, like I talk in my sleep. I was like, what? I talk in my what? He was like, yeah. He was like one time you were asleep, and he apparently he was playing a game, and then you said, you this is literally what you said. You went, what? And then Jared went, what are you talking to? Like, he was so confused because he thought I was talking to him. But I don't know what I was dreaming about. But that's just like, we have a lot of stories about that. Like, just. Jared, you have this video of Raheem snoring? <laughs> Still? No, I deleted that a long time ago. It took up too much space. The file was massive. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. But, but what I do have, which I will gladly share, is I have a list of some of Raheem's uh, best quotes. Oh, oh Jesus. God. I remember these. <clears throat> if I could find them, I. You let him compile a list of your best coach? Yes, bro. <laughs> we, started, we started this like the first month of, of college. He was like, I'm going to take a list. And he just, we just kept going. Here it is. It is entitled I to you and all with y'all. 2018. Yep, 2018. So, me and Raheem were, I'm going to give backstory as says I can. It's been a while. Me and Raheem were walking to get food. It was like our second night on campus and everything was closed and we're starving. And we were walking to like this Chinese restaurant that was a few blocks away. And we see this building. It's a blue building. And Raheem goes, You see that? That's the Tennessee River. <laughs> and as we get closer, it's a building. It's a blue building. I look at him and say, that's the Tennessee River, huh? That was the first one. And How did you... you thought a building was the Tennessee River? <laughs> How? <laughs> you just saw big and blue and you were like, river, huh? <laughs> in the middle of a neighborhood. We were in the middle of a neighborhood, dude. It's not what you think. Rivers that's even blue. worse. You were in the middle of a neighborhood and saw big and blue, and you said, "That's a river." Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have. How do you log out of YouTube? Oh my god. <laughs> hey yo. Hey yo. Hey yo. <laughs> Raheem, how do you delete your channel? <laughs> oh you really god. asked, "How do you log out of YouTube?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i forgot about all of these uh i don't have time to download a weather app with all this bio homework i have to uh, do unless it takes that. up too much space a weather app takes up too much space on his phone and he doesn't have time to download it you you couldn't have gone through i know click man. download <laughs> and turn your phone off I know. You couldn't have gone in and typed it WAFF. <laughs> <laughs> Just click download. You see, Raheem, that's the, that's the problem right there. You see, 
That's the problem. You got that Android that doesn't automatically come with a, with a weather <laughs> app. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> Uh, this one you need context for so at this point Raheem had never kissed a girl and he had like a date coming up he was like I've never practiced I don't have a kiss and he cut himself off (laughs) whoa (laughs) whoa <laughs> hey yo, we're gonna get canceled for that one. If we if I finish that statement, if that day, if that day I finish that statement and you said that, bro, we would have been canceled. We would have <laughs> let me just let me just go on the record for everybody. Um Yo, that's Raheem, not what's it, redeeming yourself. It you're really redeeming yourself. It, <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing you can say that will make you look good. <laughs> it's already bad. It's let me just say that. It is it is definitely bad. It is I hope, like, if I make it in life, God, please let us all make it in life. I hope they don't pull that one. If you can pull anything from my past, please do not pull that one. Because I promise you, if you pull that one, and say I have a daughter, and then she hears, bro, like, no, she won't respect me. I don't even want that one to be pulled. I want everyone to know that you asked Jared, how do you log out of YouTube? That's the one thing I want. I'll take that. Just don't pull that other one. I didn't. Oh, man. It was bad. How how am I supposed to know? I've never practiced. I never had a skill. Yo. (laughs) Proceed, Jerry. I don't know if I can if if I can put these two on YouTube. I might censor it out, but I'm gonna say it anyway. There's two of them. The first one is what is Raheem? <laughs> I didn't I didn't know what that's true. I didn't know what it was, bro. I'm dead dead, dead serious. And the which to this day, God man. <sighs> oh wait, is this? Hold on. Do I know this one? Which which one do you think it is? I don't know. I'm talking I'm about, that's sad that he asked I'm, you which one do you think it is. How many quotes a, do you have? I said a lot of dumb things, bro. I've said a lot. I, I have a lot. <laughs> I have a lot. I'm Jeez. only giving the best ones. So, uh, at our university, they provide free condoms in the uh, in the bathroom. <laughs> and he was like, you know, I'm gonna go try one. Try one on just in case. I know this one. <laughs> so. <laughs> Raheem goes to the bathroom, he comes back a few minutes later, he's like, bro, it won't fit. I said, what? It won't fit. He's like, I'm too big, it won't fit. So I get I get a, an unused one, and I enroll it, like, all the way, and I put it against the tape measure. That thing holds 10 inches. I said, Raheem, unroll it. <laughs> <laughs> and he, you he had it on the back of the He looked at me, he said, no, oh. this video is gonna be great. You said I put it on backwards. You put it on backwards, did you? Mean? No, <laughs> I guess I didn't like stretch it out enough. Like you I thought, roll it all the way. Yeah, because I didn't want to. I didn't want to tear it open. So I was like, let me just not, because it was the only one I had. I know I had like two, and I didn't want to use both of them by tearing one off. So I didn't stretch it out all the way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. I'm going to give two more, and then I think that's, like, all I can say because the rest are, I don't know, I don't know if, if YouTube will, will like that. Yeah. So I'm going to give two more. Okay. Uh, this one was about me. He says, <clears throat> talking about me, he looks peaceful when he sleeps. Hey, yo. At the time. Hey, yo. At the, t- at the time. Hey, yo. <laughs> Explain yourself, guys. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> just, just let y'all know, y'all all okay. Just you watching a grown the, man at, sleep, guys. Listen, listen. Wait, I gotta ask Jared because I actually don't remember what time did you? What time did you report? Uh, did you put that in the in your phone? This was in 2018. Did Did you have like the time that was that it was said? No, it's just one continuous list, so it changes every time you add something. Okay, although it may, uh, although it's it's bad anyway. Let me just say that. Sorry, it's bad, but uh, I can't. But wait, wait, wait. If I, I'm trying to think. If I said that you were awake, yeah. So what had happened? <clears throat> we were talking, and you're like, every time I come in from band practice, you're like, you're always taking a nap. You look so peaceful when you sleep. Oh, it was in a, it was in a day. Yeah. And okay. I said, why are you, why are you like inspecting the way I sleep? 
I don't. <laughs> That's weird, man. That's weird. You are watching a grown man. No, no, I was not. No. I can just imagine it now. You ever, Jerry? You ever wake up because you just felt like a presence was just standing over you? It was Raheem. I was never time. standing <laughs> over Jerry. Standing over you. <laughs> I can see it now. Jared is just sleeping, just peacefully sleeping, and here comes. <laughs> he looks peaceful when he sleeps. <laughs> he starts stroking his hair while he's down there, just sleep. <laughs> <laughs> he looks peaceful. That <laughs> All right, this is the last one. If I'm ever an alcoholic, I'll have a drinking problem. Repeat. Repeat. That's the definition of it. <laughs> Father, which art in heaven, please Raheem. forgive the Lord for my. Nope. nope. No, I'm calling God on no, no I'm calling God on the I'm cis- gonna roast you, bro. The cis one, I'm, I'm about calling to roast God. you, bro. Because yeah. I might, I might be going cis. to hell. I don't want to go to hell for that one, bro. I, I gotta call God on that one. <sighs> but if I ever become an alcoholic, I'm gonna have a drinking problem. Jared, I thank you for sharing those with me because I'm definitely, definitely using these to my advantage now. You really said if I'm ever an alcoholic, I'm gonna have a drinking problem. Were you implying that you could be one without being the other? <laughs> Listen, 2018 was a, a dark time for me. Um, I think Jared knows, but uh, I hadn't found myself yet. Um, not that's not to say I, I have now. Like I'm still definitely working on myself. But bro, 2018, bro, I was a mess. Like terrible game. Like still, still am. Terrible knowledge on women and just life in general. No sense of street smart, just like or dressing. Same. Was that, or dressing. Any of this changed? Uh, oh yeah, I did not know how to dress. Um, the dressing. I've been just more relaxed. I haven't really dressed up, so I guess that's changed. But <laughs> the stupidity things. Um, the stupidity things. See, my level is. I say silly and foolish things. That's just that's just who I am. Like I'm never gonna become this intellectually improved. Per- no, like I'm always gonna be like, hopefully not that which you just heard, but like some form of like a mature version of that. As crazy as that sounds, but what were you gonna say, bro? I was gonna say, cause I just remembered this story. Do you remember? It was like. I think the first week of move-in where they had the dance and you were going with she who shall not be named. Yes, I remember, remember she who should not be named. I remember her. And <laughs> you were about to walk out in like some gray sweatpants, your Bob Marley t-shirt, and like some trash Nikes. Yeah. And I said, <laughs> I stopped at the door. I said, Raheem, no. I, lend- I gave him my clothes. I gave him a blue button-up, yep. some khakis, and I gave him my shoes. And you know what happened after? You know what happened? What did he do? He got a date with her. Don't ask me how it ended, but he got a date with her. It it, it really helped. It really it really did help. I don't know. Jared has like literally been there. Like you really don't know like who your friends are until like you're in that. Like, I remember one night in particular. Um, was it that night? Was she who? I don't know. It was one of the nights. All right. Where I came back and I was depressed. Like she did me, whoever this girl was, she who she would not she would not be named, did me wrong. I came back in the dorm and I was depressed. Jerry looked at me, he was like, bro, are you good? And I was like, bro, I told him what was going on. I was like, bro, I'm not okay. He was like, okay, let's go. I said, where, where, where the heck are we going? He's like, let's go. I said, put your shoes back on, let's go. I said, like, you're not about to get in the bed and be pouting all night. No, let's go. So we walked like five minutes down the street from the campus. And we sat on this curb. It was like downtown. We sat on this curb, and we just like talked. And he just he explained to me, he's like, "Bro, listen, life is gonna happen. Things are gonna happen to you, but what you have to understand is you really have to find yourself." And Sir Jerry was like one of the first people to tell me that you need to find yourself, right? Because I had no one really tell me to go find. Him. I was like, "I'm not gonna find myself. I'm right here, right?" But he was like, "No, you need to like look in and like do some inventory on yourself." And 
that really like opened my like my eyes of like how I should just like not seek anybody's approval, just be me, and then people will naturally gravitate towards you. And so I took that initiative, and that night really like even though I didn't want to be there. Right. Because I'm wasting my time. I need to be I wanted to just sleep it off. That's what I wanted to do. But he was like, no, talk it out. Right. And I I just like let it all out. Right. I hope I didn't cry. Did I cry that night? I I hope I didn't. But if I did, oh, well, no, but um, I was definitely depressed. I was just like, I don't want to use that word loosely. Right. Because some people really do have depression. But I was definitely down and out that night uh, just because I had I had been sick of it. I was sick of just being like. Felt used, man. It felt like, felt like that condom when I was trying on that day. That's what I felt like. Yo, I felt like the condom yo. just. <laughs> yeah, I felt like that condom I was trying to put on that. that but yeah, condom. you see, that's that's me. Like that's just what I do. But like, but I mean, at the same time, I, I have game and I know how to dress and whatnot. And I still be getting done there. I wish I had a Jared in my life down here. Cause who we there'd be sometimes I just come home after being done so dirty. I'd be like, you know what, bro. I just want to jump off a roof head first. I, I just want to dive head first into it. And I can't finish the rest of that statement. I want to eat a Popeye's biscuit with no water, bro. Like, I want to get into a fight and Walmart lose. Like, that's just how I felt. <laughs> I, want, I wanted to fight a homeless person and get beat up. Like, that's just how I was feeling at the time. Like, if I'd have had the Jared, just be like, hey, yo, pick yourself up and dust yourself off. Yeah, other than me, because I'd be, I'd be making myself angry. You, I'm, I'm sorry. We're, we're, we're not going to run through like we didn't just say what you just said. You said you want to fight a homeless person and lose. That's exactly how, like, that's how I felt. Like, I felt like I could just fight a homeless person and lose and I would gain more respect losing to fighting that homeless person than I would to ever tell people, like, exactly what happened. So fighting the homeless person and, oh, you see, what happens with he sometimes, when you get done way too dirty for absolutely no reason, you just, you just want to lose sometimes. You, you just don't want to talk about it, you know? And you just feel the need to just be like, yeah, I could just go lose a fight and gain more respect because I, at least I balled my fist up and started fighting. But, like, the females, are, they do people dirty if they feel like it, man. And so do dudes. But, like, no. Dudes, it's a totally different situation. We, we are grimy creatures. We are grimy creatures. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, women, you're. Uh, I'm gonna make a bold statement here. I don't know how this is gonna fly, but uh, women, all I'm gonna say is you're not off the hook either. You know, you're not all you know here. Not all of you. Some of you, great, great, great people of nature, right? Great, just great, beautiful people. But um, <clears throat> there's some slimy females out there. Let's not act like all men are dogs no 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 some of us are but uh another topic for another day but um i digress but yeah basically i said that to say like all the, all of what you heard was uh my relationship prior to build like prior to that my relationship with jerry was just we're just friends like i know him Ooh, jerry did get me through something it was in high school with you who shall not be named. Yeah, you. Hey, Jared's helped a lot of people. He don't even, Jared's helped a lot of people. Wait, wait. Remember wait. that one relationship in high school that I was in? Was it with a flag twirler? No, not the flag twirler. Think, think, think. Bring Don't blast. date black people. Not black. Um, Don't date black. Brass instrument. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Do I know this person? Yes. Yes. You know this person. Oh yes. Then I know this. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You got me through that one. All I gotta say is I was feeling dangerous after that. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we're going to leave it right there. we just going to leave it right there. <laughs> I think that statement speaks for itself. <laughs> now, I won't go pull out no nine and up, but I was feeling mighty dangerous, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I, I would like to know, because I don't, I don't remember this story like at all. 
Oh, I can I can tell it. I'll tell it. I don't know if you remember it, but um, she Ho shall not be named. Uh, we split because the parents didn't necessarily approve of my mm-hmm. skin color, and it was when they took her to see Trailer Park, essentially, or whatever it was. I don't know if the Trailer Park part was true or whatnot, but like when it, where it got back to me, and I was just down. And uh, Kimani and Reed, they talked to me, and they were just like, "Yo, forget it." And then you came up, and you were like, "Hey, like if it doesn't work out, just move on." Like, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. If it's not, then just keep pushing. Essentially, is what you said. Cause I, I was, I was feeling real, uh, real dangerous that day. Cause I was, I was, <sighs> I could have told Sire to shut up in the middle of his anger tirees, man. Sire could have been, Sire could have been making the. He could have been having like one of his moments where he was just trying to have a heart to heart with the band, or he was just angry at the band because we were just having a bad day. And I could have just like, shut up, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> I y'all remember? Y'all remember that day in band where and Souter got into it? Yes, yes. I, I was feeling like that. <laughs> I gotta tell that story. I gotta tell that story because that is memorable. That was probably one of the like was like we all went to the same. All of us we went to the same high school. And we were all in band together at the same time, right? Um, and there's I'm gonna bleep that out. Let's not use names. Don't okay. use his actual name. So he who shall not be named. Um, his name is was, John. Uh, no, mm, nah. His name is Shantario. Okay. John Terrio got into it with Mr. Band Director. And Mr. Band Director decided, you know what? Spider. These kids these kids think I'm playing. Right. And so Mr. You know, or Sean Terrio thought for some reason that he could go up against the six foot six band director for some reason, even though he was Is he six six? Yeah, he's, he's pretty tall. <laughs> he's pretty tall. I, don't, I don't know if he's six six. I think he's he's six 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 on a good day. Or let's say six five, right? And Mr. Band Director kindly, politely picked up Mr. Shantario and placed him in the trash can. Just like picked I'm not him up talking about that day. Wait, what, what day are you talking about? I was talking about when uh, Mr. Spider had told him, "Shrug your shoulders one more time." <laughs> Y'all don't remember this? I do not remember that. Oh my jeez! It might have been a tell a story. No, it was during class. No, I and, uh, the, the two of them had got into it, and Shantario was just having a bad day, and you know, just wasn't doing right. And he was—he just kept talking, but he was talking about like he was trying to get his feelings out, right? It wrong place, wrong time to get your feelings out, right there. But he just kept talking, and uh, the band director was like, "Get out! Just leave! Get out of the classroom!" And then uh, Sean Terrio just shrugged his shoulders. And then Mr. Band Director was like, shrug your shoulders one more time. And Sean Terrio did it. And I have never seen the band director move that fast in my <laughs> life. I felt the anger waves coming <laughs> off of him as he passed by me. <laughs> uh, so many great days in band. Yo, so many times where we made the band director angry and like it was just awkward to speak. Hey, yo, I think I think uh, the world needs to know because um, Jared still gives me heat about this, and I this is the big mistake. I wish I I wish I could take this one back. I really do. But bro, you know I'm Jared. You know I'm going with this, bro. Like I really wish I could take this back. But it was one day we were we were outside, and uh, I guess we can Jared. You, Jared was a trump. For those of you who do not, Jared was a trombone player. Uh, Dom was a snare player. Um, Harrison was also a percussion, and I was drum major. And it was one day at practice, we were we were running rehearsal like we usually do, and low brass. And it wasn't all of low brass. It was specifically the baritones, right? The baritones kept like talking. And this rule in band, like if you're talking during rehearsal, you got to run a lap, right? You know, it's, it's, it's strict discipline. And the baritones just kept talking, but they were talking about. The like the formation of the field, but still, right? And so I said, right, after so many times, I said, it just it slipped out. I was supposed to just say baritones go run a lap, 
But I ended up saying, low brass, go run a lap, which basically means all of low brass. So trombones, tubas, baritones, all of them had to go run laps when really it was just the baritones. And Jared, Jared said, he looked, Jared said he looked at me for a good, he was just like, bro, what? None of us, he said, none of the trombones said anything. Like they weren't talking, they were literally at standby. They were doing what they were supposed to do. And he came up to me after, he was like, bro, you, you do realize that none of the trombones were talking. I was like, I know, it, it's, I, I didn't realize it until like, I saw you running. I was like, crap, they weren't doing anything wrong. <laughs> and I felt so terrible. And he mentioned to me, mentioned it to me uh, uh, months later. And I was just like, yo, I wish I could take that back because that, that one I felt bad. But well, I'm trying to think of some embarrassing moments. I got oh. one because I embarrassed you the other day. Uh, we, we, were, we were talking about it. I think it's in a video where we were just talking about band. And then I told you <laughs> that the drum line now, <laughs> we never looked at you. <laughs> We never did. We never did. <laughs> Yo, that was okay. the unwritten rule from our center snare was don't look at Raheem. <laughs> <laughs> never, never look at the trumpet. That is the rules. <laughs> like if you go back and actually look at how low our shakos are, they're purposely like right here on our noses so that way all we can see is the field and we can't see you unless like our shako. <laughs> it's just <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, purp <laughs> we purposely like do not look at Raheem, bro. <laughs> hey, so one oh oh my gosh, I remember that video. So <laughs> oh my gosh, I remember one time in particular. Um, <laughs> I was looking at E who shall not be named, Peter Cartavius. I was looking at Cartavius. And Shartavis was looking at me, and he was, but he wasn't looking at me. I can tell he was still doing his own thing. He wasn't looking at me for reference. He was looking at me like, yo, under, I need you to look at me from a distance and understand that I will not be following your lead. And I can tell I was here, and he was on another level, and I, he was just like, and I was just like, bro, what are, you, what are you doing? He was like, like he was doing his own thing. I was like, wow, he does not have no respect for me. <laughs> No, no, we just took our like drum line literally. Yeah. Us and Randall were like, Yeah, don't look at Raheem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it came from like the beginning of band camp. Like when we really were like, none of us truly knew the music. And then, uh, but drum line, like since we had already been there like all summer, we had kind of yeah. like roughly like had part of it memorized. And then, yeah. like, like when still hadn't had it all together yet but percussion had it more like we knew what it was but it wasn't clean so then we were just like yeah don't look at Raheem <sighs> period just don't look at Raheem <laughs> that rule still existed that rule still existed <laughs> long after y'all left <laughs> you made it to the end of this video I'm proud of you I'm very very proud of you you have witnessed something only quality content you witnessed something that doesn't i promise you does not get talked about on your other channel so we thank you guys and we appreciate you all for not only clicking on this video but watching it entirely we really appreciate it um you know what to do right our, our editor had to come out and show us who he was behind the scene but guess who, what he's about to do he's about to go back in put in that work go behind the scenes put in some more work so we appreciate him man all what he does of everything everything that he does um of course we didn't we didn't mention the elephant in the room Bree is not here today um i should have mentioned that earlier um she cool stuff right cool stuff you know how that goes but um as you know what are you doing when Bree comes back i'm bringing the smoke y'all know what to do like and comment down below put some pressure on that notification bell and of course as always subscribe to the radio raheem and dom universe channel future videos
Ladies and gentlemen. Raheem, you're not recording yet. I am recording. I literally <laughs> now, see, you're, now, now you're now you're recording. It, it is, <laughs> <laughs> I did this last time. I, I see it says recording, bro. It says You have to you have to give it a second. Why do I have to give it a second? It because it because what happens is it says Raheem is starting recording, and then it says Raheem is recording the call. You have to wait. <laughs> I've waited logic. six seconds for this thing to record. Why does it take six seconds? It doesn't matter. Because, it doesn't this matter. Is, because this is Skype, bro. This is no longer Zoom. Welcome to what's, Skype, my guy. What's done?